Meet Zoomlock, the 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how Zoomlock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit zoomlock.com for more information. Guys, I'm sitting here with the Sporlin Smart Pro R tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a quick test. There's my Appian. Okay. I was wondering about that. Do a quick test at distance. You know, I'm sending these off to John Israel to check them out, but before I send them off, I want to do a little bit more as far as a rigorous test on distance. We're going to take it, and we're going to put it in that freezer right over there and see how far it goes, and we're going to do an open air test too and kind of compare so you guys can sort of get a feel on how far they will go. I showed them on a couple service calls. We show how I use the clamps here. So that's an option that you can use in your uh, your own service call. So let's get them turned on, get them linked up, and see how far we can go. We have all of our sensors hooked up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start walking. I'm going to move this case out to the open air over here. And then we can start walking down my drive and see how far we go. Then we can measure it, sort of put a value on the distance in open air. All right, there we go, sitting on our practice softball container. I'm going to start walking, and I'll let you know when they get disconnected. Most of the signals have dropped off here. They come back and forth a little bit, but I keep losing them, and we are a good long way away from my building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how far this point is, and I'll give you a number on the open air test. As you see, we've still lost. Whoop, it popped back. So we have all four of them still. Maybe we'll give a couple steps back. We'll see when we lose another one. We're still getting measurements. We are. All right. Pretty good distance here. So we lost it again. And we'll call this the finer one because we're not getting it back. And we're a long way all the way out on the road. So let's get a distance on that. So we're out here in the country playing on the road like your mother told you not to. And we have a total of 225 and one third or 0.3 feet. So beyond the stated distance, all the way back to my shop, did a really good job. So let's see what happens when we throw a little kink into the plane. So these little guys did a pretty good job. So let's put them to the test. Walk across the shop there. We have our shop fridge. There we are, got some waters, got some eggs in there. So we're gonna put them in here. Now here's the thing, it's pretty hot here in the shop, so don't mind me. Here's the thing, these things are supposed to perform very well for refrigeration technicians. That is the name of the game, that's what they're set up for. Even though guys doing HVAC can definitely use these, they're really the perfect device for refrigeration guys. That's, that's how Sporlin designed them. So we're gonna take these bad boys, I'm gonna put them into the freezer, and we're going to do a little walking test, which is going to make sure it passes through one wall of a freezer. I know it's not an actual freezer like a walk-in, but it puts a little obstruction in the way. And we're going to have the wall behind us, just a regular stud wall without insulation. So there's going to be a couple different obstructions. I'm going to walk diagonally through my yard, and we're going to measure it again. We'll see how well it does with a little bit of stuff in the way. All right, there they go, guys. Um, nice little freezer. There goes our probes. I'm going to put them in there for a minute and we're going to let them cool down just like it would be in a freezer and then we're going to test it out. I'll give it a couple minutes, let them cool off a little bit and then we'll take a walk. We are cooled off now. We're in the 20s inside of the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and take a walk. I'm going to walk out there through the yard and then I'll tell you where I'm at and then we'll measure it out and see how far we got to go this way. I just lost all four of my probes here. I got one of them back, but I'm going to call this the end point. So we're still a long, long way from the building, even in the freezer and through the wall. So what I'm going to do is kind of do my math a little bit differently. I'm going to measure the rest of the way to the road there, and I can tell you how far we actually went. So I started walking back toward the building, and everything pops back up again. And it looks like when we were open air, we did about 60 more feet. So if we're at 225, that puts us around 165 for our total distance with the obstructions, which is still really, really good. So I'm very pleased with the distance, even with the obstructions. So I think we can be happy with the performance of the Sporlin Smart Pro R. I'm gonna go ahead and send it on to John Israel in Louisiana and have him test it out. But there you go, guys. There's our distance with and without obstructions for the Smart Pro R tool from Sporlin.
Those of us with dirty hands, blood stains and a twine. Right away each morning, we grind it out another time. The faces in the mirror, and not as young as they once were, but they're proud.